Hello viewers, it's Repivision here and welcome to Think to Die 2. I'm playing this game because, you know, one of my first videos was a Think to Die 1 when it came out, so it was a first impressions type thing, so I'm gonna do that with this as well. It's a tradition really. Ooh. This is a lot more stuff in here. Oh, that's my guy. It's kind of weird. What's with the background? I can't. I can barely see what I'm doing. Guess that's my first criticism. Again, this is killing yourself game. A lot like ooh. As long as the freaking wall glitches are fixed, I'll I'll be a happy man already. What's that arrow? Oh, that's my that's my mouse. You know how to kill you with two bucks. This is the true test, though. Will I die when I get under and jump, or will it wait till I get to the box? It's when I get under and jump. That's didn't. It's it's weird. It's just really weird. It should be when they push the box and it falls on you because that makes sense, right? It's like in Kuroshi. What? You can't step... How come there's just spaces you can't step in and... Alright, okay, I should stop doing that. I know how to finish the stupid level. Next level will be harder, isn't that what you've been saying for all the levels? Okay, this is an easy one, we just push the box. Press C to ch- oh right, I remember, there's two players. This is a cool one, it's like an element from Kuroshi's factory or something like that. Okay, that is weird. Hey, okay, what? do we do? Wait, can we push this box? No? Oh, there's another box here. It's weird, you can barely see that. What does this one do? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This one, it actually has a bit more... Oh no, not the pushing back glitch. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were better than that game. Not the pushing back, not the you can't jump glitch. No, they didn't fix it at all. What? What? What did you just fuck? They didn't fix shit. No, don't kill yourself there. That, that's probably the one thing that, that will make me lose. That's freaking this. It'd be so annoying. You little. At least fix the big glitches, come on, it was, it was so obvious. At least fix the big glitches. Oh well, a game's a game. Stack your players, jump with the one below, switch jump with the one. Now it's just giving me instructions to complete the level, which I don't like because this the thing I like about this is that it's actually very intuitive what you can do. Although I re it just said stack, but how's that supposed to do anything? I'm stacking. Oh, that. Okay, no, that's not. Okay, I take it back. That's not actually a hint for completing the level. That's just a hint for a mechanic. All right, yeah. Sorry game, it's my bad. It's my bad. This hints... It's not a hint, it's a gameplay introduction. Oh, comes out from the side. That's interesting. Can this guy jump out? Yeah, double suicide. Yeah, double suicide. Don't quote me. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. That's, that's great, but why would I need that? Oh, I didn't even see the other player because the top was so dark. These puzzles are a bit trickier than the ones in the first game, which is a plus for me. Okay, no, I get it. I can make it in time if I just push it on here. Yeah. It actually used the... What? 
come on game that's that's the what I can't move that's that's a straight on perfect collision that's 100% perfect and you're telling me I failed the level I don't even think I've seen a glitch that bad in the I can't believe it just bounces off this should not be where you get stuck, to be honest. This really should not be. Oh, n not the box. Not the box coming down and up thing again. All the memories are coming back. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we got it. Holy, don't, the button's so dark and the color up there, it's... it's I have to tilt my monitor. <laughs> Actually, can I disable shadows? This is... Let's see, video. Please, low quality trees. No no terrain. Actually, terrain, I want the quality. Field of view, what, whatever. Shadow, zero. Thank you. Shadow, zero. Apply. Okay, with no shadows, I like it a lot better. But I want no light and darkness, too. One person goes up there to die, and the other person uses the box. The boxes. Nope. Oh my gosh. Almost killed me too. What's with that? With these boxes, the physics are absolutely horrendous. Come on. Wait, can we just do this now? Because... No. Oh. Whoa! That guy just went flying. I guess they fixed the problem where two people could die from the same box collision. They fixed it in a really bad way, but a fix is a fix, I guess. I don't know. I don't really want to say that. Okay, no, I think I have a better idea. That was my bad, actually. I shouldn't have tried to beat the level that way. This way is the only way. What's this do though? Okay, now I need to handle this guy's death before. Nope, not that. But okay. Now this guy dies. I think I'm gonna be done with my first impression soon. I'll do two more levels. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, let's balance. Oh, oh no. I need to make it. Nope. I need to tilt it this way and have this guy run. Ooh, what did it, it didn't work? Um. Um. Okay. That's a really dumb way to solve the level. That's the. That's probably the most annoying thing about this game, to be honest. The way it's intended to be solved is probably great and satisfying, but all these stupid glitches. It just. It makes it so you can solve it other ways, unintended, lack of a better word, dumb ways. Dumb, not dumb. They're not dumb because there are solutions and that you've managed to use quote unquote game mechanics to your advantage, but they're, the ways are not, they're not, they're just not. Uh, you probably, yeah, you guys get it. For sure. What is this? Whoa! I remember these switches in the last game. I think we have to push it so the box is here and then we squish him like that. Uh, but we can't. Hmm. Okay, what if I just push this to the edge? Hmm. These controls. The biggest weakness of this game was I just push this really to the edge. And then I run for it. Didn't work. Oh, I can use this box though. Ah. Ah. Bounces off me. This is the last level I'm gonna do because it shows off the bouncy pad. My favorite item in the game. And <laughs> probably one of the most glitchy items too, which is ironic. Uh, maybe we needed the bouncy right here. Is it glitched? Okay, so we take the bouncy. We put it there. We go for that. Um, 
that's what this game is it's uh, it's unfortunate but if they could just fix the controls i feel sad because it could be a lot better and i also feel bad because it's like the same thing i've said in my last first impressions but i mean you know the negatives but maybe this time i'll try to list positives too and on a positive note i love the i love the game concept of a puzzle game it's um it's like kuroshi which i loved that was one of my favorite flash games do you like actual solutions without factoring in the glitches the solutions that they're attempting to make you find in in this thing to die too is actually very cool because you actually need to think a lot in this one or if you're if you're, if you're dumb like me okay <laughs> you actually have to think a lot which is really nice because it's so satisfying to find the right solution unfortunately that's counteracted by the fact that you can just find a garbage solution that's not the real one and you know that it's not the real one but it's you find it anyway and then you don't feel as satisfied and that would bring us to the end of this video ending on a trying to end on a positive note i will see you next time